100.9, the Creek Row Music Real Radio, John Paul White, The Long Way Home. Yes. Creekside Mornings, Tony Doolin, Charles Davis. Mm-hmm. Yes, I am recording this segment. I'm so proud of you. Me too. Alex Van Coydel. Coydel. Of the Making Mayhem <laughs> is here this morning. Good morning, Alex. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing you brought, well. You brought uh, Jake Trask with you? I did. A fan favorite. Yes. As they say, Jake. I, I, I would you. say one of the stars, as they might call him, <laughs> of the Making Mayhem. The man can score some goals. He can do things like that. He's our version of Ovechkin. He's our version. That's uh, fair. Of, of, of Mr. Crosby. That's fair. I'll call him that. <laughs> We're going to get to you in a minute, Jake. Uh-huh. Yeah, Perfect. we will. Just, yeah. Dig deep sure. into your personal uh-huh. life. Yeah, get into all of that. Find out all the secrets. Hopes, fears, you know, birth certificate and social security number. All that jazz. <laughs> we will be taking out credit cards in your we name. We sure will. Way. Good credit. <laughs> Alex, how are you, buddy? Doing all right. Yeah. It was a great weekend, good. I thought. We yep. had a lot of fun. It was a good weekend. Um, it was Military Appreciation Weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, tell us about Friday's game. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> let's just jump to the end. Yeah, well, it got out of hand a little bit. Um, That's one way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, f- basically another uh, all-out brawl that happened in the third period. Good, um, good. You know, we had one of those kind of similar type things happen a few weeks ago when Fayetteville came to town. And, yeah. Um, but I'm really proud of the way that we bounced back and, and really kept a lid on things Saturday and just played hockey and took care of business the following night. So that was a really impressive performance by our guys, I think, Saturday. Saturday was a great game. Mm-hmm. Uh, final score, 2-1. to one. Um, It was a little scary because uh, as soon as the first period started, I mean, legitimately, the announcer had not gotten out of his mouth, let's go mayhem, <laughs> and they scored a goal. Mm, well, Just boom. Yeah. That was quick. It was. That was 16 seconds in. But yeah. Jake saw that and said, this will not happen today. Not, not today. Not on my eyes. Not today. This is my house. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. No, I, I said something about it on the air because when a goal like that goes in, like not only did it happen so fast, but it was just such a fluke. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. What, what a good leader does, which is exactly what Jake de- did, was just skate right back the other way and put one in the net. And basically the team forgets about it. And exactly. Put, we're back to square yeah. one. Puts it down, squashes it. Yes. Yeah. Squashes it. Well, it all squashed. Jake, how are you, sir? Good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, tell, us, uh, tell us about you. Where are you from? Uh, originally, I'm from Western Canada, um, about four hours from Vancouver, okay. a place called uh, Penticton. All right. Uh, mm-hmm. It's in the Okanagan Valley. Very nice place, actually, if you ever get a chance to go Penticton, out that Penticton, you call it? Yeah. Okay. If you ever get a chance to go out there, it's uh, Okanagan Valley, so it's filled with like wineries, orchards, oh. everything. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Huge uh, lakes on each side of the city. Good fishing? Uh, tons of good fishing. Good, good. Okay. Rainbow <laughs> Sounds trout. like a vacation spot. It, it, it does. Saying, I'm it just really saying does. I am enticed. It, it is. If you ever get a chance, definitely go. Um, I I actually live in Columbus, Ohio now. Okay. That's where my wife is from. So I've been there for, uh, this will be my third year. So uh, I like that too. It's uh, a little different than being back home in Canada. But, yeah. um, you know, I, I like Columbus, so. Columbus is an interesting town. We had this conversation yeah. off air. Columbus yeah. is an interesting town. It is. It is. There's uh there's actually it's like you got that big big city feel without it actually being, being that. too big. Right. So uh you know, there's tons to do. Um if you're a football fan, you got the Ohio State, uh you know, for me that's not I was really, I, I yeah. was going to ask you that question since your wife is from Ohio. She a big Ohio State yeah. person. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, there's okay. family gatherings every, oh, every I bet. Saturday oh, that I get yeah. I get dragged to. But do you uh, have the shirt that you wear, the Ohio State shirt you wear, just to support her, the family? Her dad has bought me a few actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go, and you wear them proudly, don't you? <laughs> I, I do sometimes. Okay, yeah. good job, good um, job on you. Not all the time, but right. I do sometimes. Okay, good. When so, did you start playing hockey, man? I started skating when I was two. Okay. Um. I probably, I actually, my dad put me in uh, figure skating to start. Not like doing all the jumps and stuff, but just was, like base, the learning the basics of like edge work and just the basics of right. skating. I was and really then, hoping uh, you were going to do like you were talking about, you were doing like Blaze of Glory type stuff. Like <laughs> spins. I, I was no. getting ready to just look at him and go, two pick. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the triple nuts, you can yeah. lock that down? Can and it down? never came to that, but uh, uh, okay. I started playing and then I started playing like organized hockey, hockey. at like yeah. four, four or five years old. And I, to be honest, I hated it. Really? <laughs> yeah. 
He's I, not, I cried every time to get off the ice. Wow, really? Yeah. He's, he's not the only one. A lot of the Mayhem guys hated it when they were kids. Well, because yeah. did, did it feel more like it was more forced upon you to play hockey and it wasn't like, oh, I really want to play this game? I, you know what? I don't know why why it was. I, just, I would say the puck flying at your face <laughs> yeah. is, is that one thing that would... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, at four or five years old, having that, you know, flying towards you? I mean, yeah. you know. I'm assuming you still don't cry before games. No. Okay, okay luckily, luckily, right, I We're I past that, that now. Yeah, luckily I grew out of that. All right, good. We're past that. So how many years have you played with the uh, mayhem uh this will be my fourth i got traded here the expansion year uh just around christmas i think it was just before christmas okay. actually um so i've been here for a while and i uh you know what i i've enjoyed every minute of it it, it from the first year you know it was kind of frustrating because we we struggled being an expansion team but um you know to winning the next year and even last year having a really good year and um you know this year still it has been a good year it's just you know, a big part of minor league sports is um, injuries, mm-hmm, losing, guys, yeah. losing guys to call up. So it's, it's, it's really hard to maintain a good year. It really is, especially if you have a good team. You're going to lose guys. And, you, they're going to get poached. Yeah, you're going to get yeah, poached exactly. pretty much at that point. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and that's what happens to good teams. It, it always happens. And um, luckily, you know, we've got most of our guys back now, and we still got a couple injuries. But – um, we should be ready to go for playoffs. So, and you know, anything can happen then. So. True, that's yeah. going to be frustrating as a uh, as a team leader when you've got that. You know, you're gelling, it's going well. Then you get the call ups, you get the injuries, and that happens, and you almost have to reset. I it, would imagine it really is. I mean, it's kind of like a revolving door. Yeah. Know? it's like you always that's got right. you show up to the rink and you got a new guy, and it's like. <laughs> Hey man, like you yeah, know, and, and always, you automatically yeah, bring it. You automatically yeah. acclimating people yeah, exactly. to the culture every time you walk yeah, in. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So, and then um, for a couple of weeks, you're still like, "Hey, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, dude. dude's yeah. name I don't know." Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, with you saying this, it's been your fourth year here, and you've been here since the expansion year. Um, you have seen the the fan base for this team grow, and we always talk about who would think that hockey would be huge in making. Talk about the the fandom that has grown over the time that you've been here. I mean, that first year, because uh, I never, even when I played with Peoria, we had never came down here at that point. So I, I had no idea what to expect. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I didn't even know if I was going to come because I was like, you know, I'm going from first place to last place. Like, I don't know what it's going to be like down there. And, um, you know, so from that year to now, I think it just it keeps building and building. You, you don't talk to as many people that are like, oh, like, I didn't know we had a hockey mm-hmm. team. You know, more people are like, yeah, yeah the hockey team. So, it, I, you know, I think it's, it's just a credit to, to everyone that within the organization and, and the players for getting out in the community. Yeah, and, that's and the then, big thing, yeah. And all the people in the office to, you know, to getting out there and, and trying to bring people in. You know, the Saturday night crowds have been awesome lately, I feel like. Oh, yeah. I mean, they keep building and building and, um, you know, it doesn't take much for you know a couple thousand people in that rink to make it loud. Make it, and yeah, it so does. Yeah, it, it, you know it's a lot funner to play in. So of course, absolutely, um, Alex. So we're looking at uh, the playoff situation. We have clinched the playoffs. That's right. All right, yep. and we're back at uh, back at pretty much full strength going into the playoffs, which is awesome. Yes, it is. Uh, we do have a couple of games this weekend, but they're out of town. That's right. Tell us about the lineup this weekend. So. Um, you know, uh, we're going to get uh, Zach Urban back from suspension, okay. so that'll be a, a pretty big boost for the team. We got a couple guys back from the ECHL, Stathis Sumalitis and Jake Fiala, which, spoiler alert, by the way, Stathis will be on our line change show tomorrow night at the Rookery. Boom. There we go. All right. So, I was going to promote that. <laughs> we were. We were going to get Tomorrow to night, 630. Yeah. Yeah. You can promote it. Yeah, Creek yeah, stage right. downstairs. Yeah, him and Coach Leo. Get there early. Yeah. yeah. I'll have someone else, too. I haven't decided the other guest. Right. But, um, cool. Who did you get back? Then we... Sorry. Other than uh, Somalitas, who yeah, did you Somal- get? Back? And Jake Faella. Faella. So it's not yeah. it's not Faella. No, I was because it's spelled like Paella. I was just guessing. Oh, it's phonetic for is Tony. It? You just have to you just have to let that, him do what he's going to do. How you spell Paella? No, I think no, so. well no. with the P instead of the F. It's just just let, just let him <laughs> but go. Yeah. Well, yeah. Alex, okay. just go on. Just continue. I'm not good with spelling. He's, you know this. He's not. He's not. Just let him so go. So tomorrow night, line change. Coach Leo Thomas coaches show downstairs. That's anyway, right. you were saying, Alex. Yeah. And then we got a couple of uh, new kids in from college, you know, and Keplinger's been in for a few weeks now. Horowitz yep. has been in for a few weeks, and then and Sean Lynch, and uh, and um, I think we brought one other in, didn't we? 
Jake, am I missing somebody? Horowitz? Oh, that's so, everyone. That's everyone. Yeah. Yep. So there's right. so many new additions from college. Like yep. Jake said, it's hard to keep track of the revolving door. But Hey, man. Hey, guy. Yeah. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, no, bro. But, uh, you know, Sean, he came in fresh from a senior year, a good senior year up at Utica College, and I thought he had a good weekend in his pro debut. So, oh, yeah. yeah. We're looking forward to this weekend down in Pensacola and mm. some more big uh, playoff implications on the line. Next home game is the 29th, Friday night. Uh, that is the last home game of the season yep. against Knoxville. Go ahead and get your tickets now. 735. Puck drop for get that. Them. And I want to talk about this. I want to talk about the opposing team from this past weekend, specifically one player. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> one player. And I'm, I'm trying to remember his name, but the last four letters were T-I-N-I. I'm pretty sure it meant Tiny. Because he was uh, a wee little fellow. Yeah. Where did he, they get a leprechaun? He, was it just for St. Patty's Day? He not a leprechaun. I think he was. He's he didn't have a hockey stick. It was a shillelagh. Morning, okay. It was a shillelagh. God, Tony. I understand that every time he skates by Urban, Urban would pat him on the head. Uh, Say, stop. <laughs> Dude's 5'3", man. Don't do that. Up against everybody else, I was like, who is that cr- have they got a child playing for them? Who is that? He's, I do have a question. He's listed at 5'6", 167. And that's in skates. <laughs> that's in skates. I don't know if that's true. I was talking, I was actually talking to some of the Huntsville fans mm-hmm. outside Saturday night. They were like, yeah, we call him Shorty. <laughs> I was like, okay. All right, fair enough. He the was, auction jersey with um, the auction. We fellow. The auction um, went off Saturday. How, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how much money did the, did the jersey go for? A lot. Was it, was it three or four digits? I never got my answer. What was the number one jersey? I think it broke a thousand for the highest it was jersey. Close, close. Yeah. Seamer was just north of nine hundred. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Good, 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 good. You guys keep track of that, don't you, Jack? Uh, I think guys ask each other, but <laughs> to be honest, like. There's so much going on. That, you <laughs> See, know, here's you, the thing: they don't want to do it in front of Jake because Jake's the team leader. They don't want to be like that in front of Jake, but outside of Jake, outside yeah, of they're Jake, talking yeah. about it. They're talking about it. <laughs> well, Jake's jerseys always bring top dollars. Because they ain't trying to compare themselves to Jake. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like, like, okay, anybody other than Jake? How, how how'd your numbers do? How was so. your jersey Saturday night? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was good. It was All right, good. me too. Yeah. Well, Jake, thanks for coming by this morning, oh, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate uh, it. First time on the show. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah, have parting gifts. We got to get you. You know what? I might have been on a couple. Year or last year, maybe not two yeah, years ago. Yeah, it wasn't with me, so it doesn't count. Okay, <laughs> okay. It's only it's, it only yeah. counts if it only it's, counts if, now. If then it's Tony, yeah. You didn't tell Jake not to so correct me on the air, did you? Mm, no, she, it's he didn't first want, time, Jake. He didn't want, he didn't want <laughs> first time, just, just, just. <laughs> Alex. Always reasonably good to see you too. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Same here, Tony. Reasonably Same here. It's always great to see you, Alex. <laughs> Thanks, Charles. No problem, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow night for Lion Jane. Here's some Steve Earl on the creek. Steve Earl.